Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the castled city of Zaland with me, Get Daved. I was planning on doing some grinding off camera, but this happened, so let's watch it. And as soon as we get there, freedom within the confines of a castle. Which means he's probably trustworthy. But enjoy the music. Funny you say that being adopted. Agrius has been unquestionably loyal to Ovalia, but it's interesting that she also really does see how the game's played. It's not like she's naive. She's she just cares about Ovalia. <laughs> no response from Agrius. Shut up! Alma, I believe, tried to show her. It's not simple. A little symmetry with the scene with Delita, that ended well enough. But for real, I've never been able to make that sound with the grass blade. Okay, here we go. I think we'll just go with the usual suspects here, and these will for usual formations. So I borrowed something of Ovalia's, her wizard's robe, and her hat, but then I bought some more of those hats. But anyway, I don't think she sees combat. Period. I mean, we're protecting her and keeping her out of battle, so I don't think she'll need it. Truthfully, I'm not 100% sure on that detail. She might need it. But don't worry about it. Alright, uh, they're gonna leave us alone. No. Okay. She's so badass. <laughs> oh, you'll have the boy by force. Uh, I also borrowed Mastadio's gun, uh, because orators can use guns. Which is kind of funny if you think about it. As the saying goes, speak softly and carry a big stick. Ah, oh boy. So, they actually have kind of an ideal setup. They have... 
we'll just call it interesting terrain, but they have knights and positioned well enough to get behind them are lots of long-range physical and magical attackers. Um... I won't play your game. I think if we stay still, we'll be out of range of the magic you- Okay, fine. Do what you want, Mustachio. Leroy! Our goal is to stay far-ish away from the summoners. What is he doing? Also, we've drawn the archers ahead a bit, which is very helpful. Chemists can also use guns, I should point out. So by switching Mustadio to Chemist, which I did, it uh, didn't inherently mean he uh, had to give his gun up. I just kind of volunteered him. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's do this. Eurydice, Thor, and Adelaide. So those are their summoners. Sticky Fingers. I believe that lets him catch arrows. We'll go for that one. I probably should have targeted the other archer so we could go for the kill, but, uh... Yeah. Crazy! She has time magic. You have to be a time mage to become a summoner, but uh, still, I didn't expect that. So summons are... They're not weak, but I think they are a little bit weaker in terms of speed, MP, uh, to damage ratio. Yeah. But they have a huge area of effect, 3x3, three three, or radius 3, however you want to think about it. And they never hit, like, the opposite side. So healing ones, and yes, they get both, uh, either hit only... Wait, where was that targeting area? They hit only enemies for damaging ones and only allies for healing ones. Eh, I'm going for it. Even though with 67 fate, he stands to lose quite a bit. Nice. Like a boss. Wonder if we can get an Earth Slash in on her? Nice. Didn't stop the attack, but it might uh, scare her off. Welcome to your first summon, everybody. Like I said, they're weak-er, but not weak. Not by any stretch. I do think the Black Mage's weakest spells have the best uh, damage per MP of any magic attack in the game. I believe that's the case. I mean it in a non-legally binding way. Uh, let's see if we can do ourselves one better here. Dang it. So we just don't quite have the angle against the terrain. But we have to stand here. So we can't target anyone who's too close, but we should be able to hit this knight anyway. Wow. That was all kinds of disappointing. Strange. They just didn't want to risk missing, I guess? We'll probably have to revive him. That was right before his turn came as well. There we go. So those are two of the cheaper summon moves you've seen. Uh, they get pretty expensive. Oh, uh, Y Caliber has items, okay. 
Let's do the right thing. Both of those enemy units will still act first. Ooh, I'm running low on important things. So Rams is just gonna get hit instantly if we don't do anything else. I have a feeling Adelaide will be taken care of though. Yep, has to be get Dave to take her out. Which is fine. Oh geez, now we get the critical. Wow! I didn't think you'd do something selfless. Everybody, Mustadio did something selfless. It'd be kind of nice if we could get stop on her, because she's already hasted herself. Oh my goodness, awesome. to stand back and shoot at him with a gun, I think. You take that. So this is effectively a two on six, because we've got all our characters back, and with their uh, summoner stopped and the other one dead, they're, they're done. Of course, we still need to be careful. Oh, let's just steal if we can get away. See if we can get away with this. Eh. Can't quite do anything except attack, but that's all right. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Eat it. For the record, Mustadio can use Phoenix Downs. that would drop her, but the summoners did have a fair bit of HP. Um, nice. And you can get critical hits with guns. I think every weapon in the game. Okay. Probably revive him or attack him. Gosh darn it, I just want to steal things. Oh, I definitely should have attacked her while she was stopped. Okay, we'll move here. This gives us an interesting set of options. We can attack, revive, or heal now. I like the percentages, I'll go for the revive. Yeah. 84% is pretty good. I believe faith factors into that one as well. Probably a good thing I did that is he was my other healer. I guess Mustadio and uh, Eurydice can both heal, but... You know what? I might have sold the AI short. And then screwed around when I shouldn't have. Foolishly trying to steal. No better than a thug. Might as well stay there. She'll get her turn faster. Okay. Can I save Y Caliber? Oh, we need to be on exactly the same height. Which we are not. Okay, um... Go for Shockwave to get the better accuracy, because we don't need more power. Still disappointed Agrius backed off on that one turn of hers. Yay, a Mithril Helm! Only way to get those is with money. Nice. Probably wouldn't have mattered anyway, but...
Okay, we're in kind of an interesting situation here. We could go after him now and end the encounter, but I mean... They're just dropping equipment. Oh, Silver Bow, that's actually kind of helpful. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... gonna hang around for a bit here. Encourage some friends. So Ramza's status affecting stuff is always 100% accurate. If he were an orator, the accuracy is a fixed percent plus magic attack. So in the case of Eurydice, 50% uh, plus her magic attack, which is like 4 or 5. It might be up a bit now that I've changed her equipment. 5. So she'll only have 55% accuracy with her speech craft, and it's not going to get much better than that. Like, the percentages will get more and more helpful from a probability standpoint as we get closer to 100, but it still kind of sucks. Oh yeah, I guess we could revive Y Caliber. Okay, so Mustadio's abilities are Arm Shot, Leg Shot, and Seal Evil. Not kind of backfired. Arm Shot prevents them from acting if it hits. Leg Shot prevents them from moving if it hits. And they all last... I'm gonna say roughly... Yeah, let's just end this. Roughly as long as the stop status ailment. Which, because of how the clock works in this game, becomes more useful as the game goes on. Right now it means usually less than two turns. Uh, we'll use it on Get Daved again. I'm not sure what my final party is going to be in this game. Oh yeah, Agrius can revive too. Like, everybody's got the item skill. Got lots of bad chemists in this party. There we are. And this charade. You ask a lot, Mustadio. And almost all of it is exclusively on our generosity. But for real? He has a good reason. Well, it's been a while since we've been back to Egros. Wonder what his brothers think about uh, Ramza's little busy work. He refuses to learn the lessons you learned, Daisadarg. Note the interesting little look Daisadarg gave in response to uh, Gafgarian's comment about uh, father. Also note Daisadarg drinking the drink that's the color of blood. <laughs> hmm. A little example of the silent rage he has as well.
There you go. So, the people who intercepted Delita, those weren't Dysodarg's men. Those guys were already dispatched by Delita and his buddies before we killed his buddies. So, things are complicated. Alright, in the next episode we'll go to Lionel Castle, and uh, I really feel like I should grind, but we'll worry about that later. I just, if you're playing this at home, it would be an okay time to get auto potion on Ramza because you don't want him dying too easily. I guess every build is different, but uh, you want him to be durable. I'll see you in the next episode, everybody.